Alrighty guys, I realize I haven't made a next generation video yet. Well, I have touched on the subject once or twice in other videos, but I haven't made a next generation centered video really. So let's do this shit. We have lots of ships like Gruvia, Gale, Orgale, Yurza, Service, Acnoline, Fraxus. You get what I'm saying. Oh, and Nalus too. So when Fairy Tale ends, regardless of whether it moves on into a next generation arc or series, it won't change the fact that speculation must be done. So we have some information to go on, I mean, not confirmed information of course, other than uh, like Gajil and Levi, which basically is confirmed. But children names, well there's nothing concrete other than Nashi, which Hiro himself mentioned, I think if Nalu were to have a kid, that would be the name of that child. And there's been a storm full bust name going around, but that's fan made, I believe. So let's see what we can do with this information, alright? So let's focus on the children because that's really what the next generation is. And to start things off, what type of magic are they going to be using? Are they going to have similar brands of magic to their parents, or are they going to find completely unique ways of utilizing magic? I think that the era of Dragon Slayers is over, so there will be no new Dragon Slayers. And when I say Dragon Slayers, I mean actual Dragon Slayers, not the second generation bullshit. But it is possible that one of the children will end up taking that path. If I had to guess, I would not guess on Nashi, because assuming next generation becomes a thing, I'm sure it's gonna want to be a little different than the original series. So I would be kind of happy with Grey and Juvia's kid having Dragon Slayer abilities, in all honesty. Preferably not Ice nor Water, because that's been seen, well... Not in Dragon Slayers really, at least not yet, but in general it would be cool with an element that's not really been shown all that much in the series of Fairy Tale. As for Nashi, I would be cool with her taking on Lucy's path to keep the Heartphilia thing going, if you know what I mean. Okay, so enough about their magic. So what will these next generation kids look like? Like we've seen Nashi as a girl with pink hair, I think that'll work. But if she's gonna take on the color of Natsu, I think she should also take on the messy hairdo. Not the same hairstyle, obviously, but I don't want it to be the clean and nice hair that Lucy has. I want it to be more of a messy type of hair. Nashi, the ultimate tomboy. And Nashi should definitely inherit Natsu's scarf. That's, that, that's like a must do, you know. You cannot do without that. Okay, let's move on to another. Storm Fullbuster. If that is the name we're going with, I'd say white grey hair color and although that would be nothing like grey nor Yuvia, I mean it's not like you necessarily will take on a parent's hair color, it's not law, it's just um, more likely to be the case, especially in anime or manga. And if it's gonna be called Storm, black or blue isn't doing it for me. I'm gonna be honest, I'd love for Storm to take on grey's stripping habit though. Because that's like the quality of grey that I always liked, but of course as of recent it's kind of died out, which I find pretty di disappointing in all honesty, but oh well. So to sum things up, a whitish hair color and a stripping habit. So not too much clothes on when the habit takes over. Okay, so Gajil and Levi's child though, or children in fact, as I want it to be. I'd love it if they had twins for starters, mostly because, well, I don't actually have a reason. I just feel as if one couple should have twins some reason, I don't know. Anyway, I think I'll wrap it up there. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. How do you think the next generation would be and what potential magic would these children have? Do let me know. And as always, if you did, please like this video and subscribe if you're new. Bye.